In this last part of the tutorial, we will guide you on how to add effects into a blog layout. First of all, launch Adobe Photoshop and load the blog layout which we created in the previous part. Now select the copyright text layer and change its color to 8FA1A6. Once done, move on to the menu green group and click on it for it to expand. Select the Contact Us text layer and change its color to F1F5E1 and similarly apply it on all other text layers. Now open blending options of the menu half layer, move over to the gradient overlay tab, change its blending mode to overlay, opacity to 15%, select the reverse option and click on the OK button to apply it. Once done, open blending options of the full menu layer, move over to the drop shadow tab, Choose its color as ADCF4F, set the distance to 2 point, spread to 0%, size to 0 point, and move over to the bevel and emboss tab. Now set the size to 0 point, soften to 0 point, highlight mode's opacity to 20%, and shadow mode's opacity to 10%, then move over to the gradient overlay tab. In this tab, set the opacity to 15%. Select the Reverse option and click on the OK button to apply it. Once done, move over the Search Here text layer and change its color to 95916E. Now change the color of other labels in this menu to 735F16. Open the blending options of the search bar, move over to the Stroke tab, set its size to 1 point, choose its color as C6BA92 and click on the OK button to apply it. Open the blending options of the main menu shape layer, move over to the drop shadow tab, choose its color as F3C125, set the distance to 1 point, spread to 0%, size to 0 point, and move over to the bevel and emboss tab. In this tab, set the size and soften to 0 point, highlight mode's opacity to 40%, and move over to the gradient overlay tab. Now change the blending mode to overlay, set its opacity to 15%, select the reverse option, and click on the OK button to continue. Once done, move over to the main image tab, select the text layer and change its color to 484F52, then apply it on the remaining text layers. Open the blending options of the right column layer, move over to the gradient overlay tab, choose its blending mode to overlay, set its opacity to 25%, and click on the gradient color. Choose the gradient as black to transparent. Close this panel, set the angle to 0 degree, scale to 36%, and click on the OK button to apply it. Now open the blending option of the bottom part. Move over to the drop shadow tab. Choose its color as 819AA4, set the distance to 1 point, spread to 0%, size to 0 point, and move over to the Gradient Overlay tab. In this tab, set the opacity to 15%. Select the Reverse option and click on the OK button to continue. Once done, move over to the main blog group. Change the text layer color to 484F52 and apply it to all text layers in this group. Now open the blending options of the Image Shape layer. Move over to the Inner Glow tab, change its blending mode to Normal, increase its opacity to 100%, choose the color as E6F0F4, set the choke to 100%, and move over to the Stroke tab. In this tab, set its size to 1 point. Choose the position as Inside, choose its color as B6C1C6, and click on the OK button to apply it. Now open Blending Options of the Button Shape layer. Move over to the Bevel and Emboss tab, set its size to 1 point, soften to 0 points, highlight mode to color dodge, its opacity to 15%, shadow mode's opacity to 5%, and move over to the gradient overlay tab. In this tab, choose the blending mode as overlay, its opacity to 10%, and move over to the stroke tab. Now set the size to 1 point, position to inside, choose the color as 97B3BD, and click on the OK button to apply it. In a similar way, apply these settings on the rest of the image holders and button shapes. Once done, expand the sidebar group, change the color of the text layer to 484F52, and similarly apply it on the rest of the text layers, except the Add Space layer. 
after changing the color, decrease the opacity of both add space text layers to 25%, then open its blending options and move over to the outer glow tab. Now set its blending mode to normal, opacity to 100%, choose its color as E6F0F4, set its spread to 100%, and move over to the stroke tab. In this tab, set its size to one point, position to inside, choose its color as B6C1C6, and click on the OK button to apply it. Simply copy this layer's style and paste it on the other Add Space layer. Now go to the blending mode of the Image Shape layer. Move over to the Inner Glow tab, choose its blending mode to Normal, increase its opacity to 100%, Choose the color as E6F0F4, set the choke to 100%, and move over to the Stroke tab. In this tab, set the size to one point, choose its position to Inside, and click on the OK button to apply it. Once done, copy the layer style and paste it on the rest of the image placeholders. Now open an image, place it right on top of the Image 1 layer, change its name to Pick 1, create a clipping mask, and adjust its size accordingly. Similarly, clip all image holders with pictures in the same way, and you're done.